Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on the Sandcrawler 2018 version. So on the front of the box here, we see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the Last Jedi border, the Disney logo, all the minifigures included, and set number is, or I mean, age range 9 through 14, set number is 75220, and has 1,239 pieces. So then flip to the back. So you can see it in another position with all folded up and showing all the features of it, like a dot com slash Star Wars and everything else. So, Alright. And on to the instruction booklet. Of which same picture as on the front of the box, same everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. Add for Lego Life with Kylo Ren there, and then add for the AT Hauler and uh, KVX Transport ones, which I have done reviews on. So add for all the summer sets, and add for and also the mini figures that come with each one of them. And then the last building steps. And so now to the minifigs with my new minifig focus booth. Starting out with, if I can get them off, or just do it one at a time. Yeah, that's what I can. Starting out with the first of one of the two Jawas. Front printing, and then without it, and then slight back printing. Then onto the other job. Oops. Also but with different kind of torso print. And there is from the back. But these two of which, with the two in here of which, just about the same as in the Talk to Me Bow pack from earlier this year. But at least good to get multiples and all. And now to RA7. Yeah. Please focus. Okay. Focus. Okay. So as you see, is in a gunmetal gray color. But his headpiece, of which molded pretty well, or sculpted pretty good, I would say. Come on, focus. Focus. Okay, there we go. This one's like back printing and back again with the front torso printing. This front torso printing. And of course, this is which a, although it's the headpiece, kind of similar to that of one of the droids in the uh, uh, Death Star set. Uh, I can't remember how that looked like. If anyone knows what, well, if it's the same, tell in the comments. And so, and yeah. And next one up is a medical droid, which kind of similar to that in the uh, Hoth medical chamber set from this year and a few others. Focus. Is he same exact? Uh, droid arms and legs like IJ or IJ88 from last year's ones previously had or at least does have.
focus, there we go. So that in the front torso piece, or the upper torso piece, kind of like K2S cells, that would molded pretty well. It was good printing all around. And then there's from the back, all hollowness, and that is about it for this one. And next up is R5H or A2. Another astronaut droid. At least the torso print of which uh, is done pretty well. And also the headpiece in yellow, quite interesting. I don't think it probably first time in a while since we had that. Or maybe this one the first time used in a while. Can't remember. But and there's his back head printing. Very little bit. Uh, yeah. And lastly is of original Luke Skywalker. So in, as you see, the torso print of which similar to in previous sets. So and also the same exact hair piece and everything. But, and there he is from the back with his double-sided face. So if it focuses, focus. So, okay, there we go. So the minifigure lineup in this set, of which kind of similar to that from in the last uh, Santa Crawler set, the UCS version. But what's kind of lacking in this one, in both ones, is probably uh, the two main droids, R2-D2 and C-3PO, and also uh, Owen Lars, who I think was never before made in LEGO. So I think it's time that they did so. But anyways, and on to with the sand crawler itself. So here it is. So for the front part of it, the shaping of which is done quite well. Like so I see kind of a little gap between here. And although instructions kind of do say to put it that way, but Actually, I think the gap of it kind of works for the Jawas to see out through. And as you have some like yellow, trans yellow pieces all around. At least the shaking of which done well. But like good use of snot here and all. And then all from the side, or on this side, see a good technique with the like, like the cheese slopes and all all dark brown with a little bit of tan there and then continuing on to the back as you see some good greebling all around with those like rounded pieces and all and what this little gear knob is for is which involves the like four treads there which can roll well and by turning it can like change direction of it which is quite great but also some good snot on the treads as well and take a look from the bottom and how this works done well but also does have a couple wheels hidden in there which sand crawler kind of doesn't really do but, whatever. but at least they're well hidden and, but yeah but on the other side of which has kind of the same deal but except it's open up and space for the droids to and Jawas to hop out and all and this does have some accessibility like most other sets did like the Millennium Falcon sets and whatnot did but except it's by taking off some things but also with folding these things up. And also the front part, which does also open up, and the top part also opens up. But on this first level of which, does have a couple of Technic beams that serve as some robotic arm. Which to take your droid mini, astromech droid mini fig, if you get it in right position, 
to like get pulled up and all. And also in there, as you can see, some like, some like neat paneling pieces. Or actually, there's no stickers included in this set, of which is neat. So, and so we done good techniques there. Yeah. Fold down. Also, how from the top this area can, of what can slide out is this little uh, vehicle, or smallish vehicle in there, which looks a little similar to that of the one included in the Tatami Bow pack from the winter wave of this year. And also got two cylinder things that attach to uh, jumper pieces there. Also for the crane to pick up and all, which is kind of interesting, like in the last couple versions. So, so some good detailing or good beaming or the answer in the front part of it. But if I can get it in there. As you see, a couple of printed slope pieces and plenty of good, and also a good thing to hold the piece things in place with the Ninjago skeleton arms, I think those are. And enough space to store a Jawa in. And also the red, also the coffee mug over there to, for it to drink out, which they, which of course Lego often likes to do in Star Wars sets. And get these all that time, which if you get this and or at least look up the instructions online then you'll know how well how they slide on and of course the rooftop piece of which connects onto those four studs right there like so if you get in the right positions but also some good wriggling detailing on top with those little pieces there and the dish pieces as well and yeah a lot of good stuff to this one and let's see what else is there to say oh yeah you get plenty amount of like tiles covering studs of all in a few places but you can add some others if you want as well and yeah and so now, on to with the final verdict. So, overall, I think this is which a pretty good set. Like, a good price for peace and all, but also how it's another Sandcrawler set, which we barely get much of which, and at least not a UCS version. Although, if you're someone who is like looking to get this and you're under a budget then this is kind of a good way to go and if you're looking to get this for your original trilogy collection then go ahead and get this and that is about it with this video please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching